Ray and Dina, good evening. Once again, a fun atmosphere here today. Two political heavyweights running for mayor brought their supporters in a show of strength. So I just uh, filed uh, my nominating petitions, over 40,000, uh, to be on the ballot. This morning at the Board of Elections Loop Supersite, Mayor Lightfoot handed in her petitions, skipping the chance to enter a lottery for the last spot on the ballot, a position some believe gives a candidate an edge. Challenger Jesus Chuy Garcia followed conventional wisdom, showing up late this afternoon so he could make a play for the final spot. Garcia filed more than 47,000 signatures. I think if you ask the voters across uh, Chicagoland and other taxpayers, they're ready for a change. During a brief availability with reporters, Lightfoot offered her pitch for four more years. Everything about our lives was completely upended during the period of, of COVID, and people are still recovering from that. So what we've got to do is pierce through that level of frustration and anger and to some extent fear that people have and remind them about what we've been able to accomplish together on behalf of the people of this city. Garcia, who less than a month ago won re-election to Congress, is carefully contrasting his leadership style with that of Lightfoot. I can be a unifying force in Chicago. I think I have the temperament to bring people together. Uh, I have the ability to listen to people, to be collaborative and inclusive. That has been my public service over 40 years time. Also filing today to run for mayor, Alderman Roderick Sawyer. He turned in a much smaller pile than Lightfoot and Garcia. I'm a Chicagoan and, and part of my reset plan is resetting what government really looks like to the average person. The average person is not really being served properly by government and I want to change that. At least nine well-known candidates make up the crowd at Mayoral Field. If no candidate gets 50% plus one during the February 28th election, the top two vote getters advance to a runoff on April 4th. Tomorrow morning, let the games begin. The candidates can start filing challenges to their opponents' petition signatures. Live tonight in the loop, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.